Three. It was great. I have played Batracuda in this matchup. He actually taught me the matchup because my first Shockwave back, I had no idea what half of the characters did. And then I played Batracuda and kind of got the matchup. Okay. And okay. Smash 4 also taught me this matchup. What he's going to do is he's going to make sure Pac-Man has no space, that can't do anything. Can't set up your, his Hydrant or his projectiles. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and yeah, for those of you who don't know the Tibbs story, uh, Tibbs, one of our Pac-Men from HMO, the same crew as uh, Batracuda, he did beat Austin 2-0 a couple months ago in February, I think. That was, that was like early Smash 4, nothing, not Smash 4, early Ultimate, and Austin definitely won this matchup pretty, pretty well. Yeah, I think a couple of the things Pac-Man has going for him is um, it's kind of hard to get those PK Thunder juggles because he has the Hydrant to get yeah. out of his advantage. He has like armor on side B, all of that. And then he has good ways to mix up his recovery so that he doesn't just, you know, have to be forced to go right into yo-yo. Something Austin went for that I would never go for in my life. He'll go for a down air and then he'll try to footstool you after and he can jab block and kill you really early. Oh yeah, I've seen him go yeah. for that against Denti and Little Pack actually. It's it's good but super tough to hit. He does it pretty well. Yeah, and the thing is you can tech footstools in this game, but obviously nobody is gonna be expecting that. Yeah. And PK Fire comes with a lot of tech options, so you can kinda cover something. He can do a tech chase. True. Okay, yeah, catching the neutral get up there with yo yo. Uh tip one versus Ness, do not neutral get up ever. Just get up attack. <laughs> Cause yeah. up smash, down smash, and just kill. Yeah, you really have to wait until they start baiting you to, to do the neutral getup. That was one change from Smash 4 that I don't really get why they did it. But Ness can PK fire the Hydrant and the PK fire starts up. So Hydrant is just like not as good as the shipping in this matchup. Okay, does it not launch the Hydrant and just stays there? It just, the PK fire like sets off and just kind of sits there. And okay. what it was Patrick Kuda's advantage becomes Austin's advantage. Interesting. Good Ooh. key. Yeah, catching the one frame on the neutral getup I think actually. But, uh, Ness is very good at like when he gets in and do his damage, but when he's like kind of being kept out, it's gonna be very tough. Yeah, but one thing Austin really hates while he's playing Ness is just range. If he can't yeah. get in and do what he needs to do, then uh, that's when he can get a little bit range, projectile stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All of our <laughs> swords, Palutena uh, your shield. character. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, very good uh, edge guard sequence there from Batrico, getting yeah. some good percent. The biggest buff Ness got was that air dodge. The fact he's like a third jump and it goes so far. Exactly. Third jump, third leg, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, <laughs> leg. My boy of packing. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to get banned. Uh, banned. <laughs> this, is, this is not that far off. Batrico can get like a bell kill or a key kill. And yeah. Keep it even. Oh, now you can't get a key kill. Yeah, and you, 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 you the, the only reason I'm not surprised is because we saw Austin with the bat just a couple seconds ago. So I, I was about to say, you know, maybe Austin's going to start looking out for that. And then, you know, before I could even get the words out of my mouth, he reflects again. Most <laughs> Nesses are like staying in shield, scared of key. Austin was throwing a bat, and somehow he always knows when key is coming. Yeah, my man definitely uh, on his way to the major leagues. Yeah, there's definitely like at least like 20,000 clips of Austin reflecting something and then dying at 50. Yep, like my limit blade beam. Well, that's your fault. <laughs> should have just walked up and side beat. I know, I should have baited it out. <laughs> should have reacted. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of stadium. I love stadium, but we're seeing a lot of it. Yeah, I think I think I can agree with this. This stage probably a little bit better for Pac-Man than Ness. I think uh, if we weren't going to stadium, we'd probably go Smash Villain. That's an advantage state can be pretty scary. Yeah, that, stage. that top play with uh, Ness is very good. That would be tough. Yeah. But, okay, gonna clank with the uh, PK Thunder. We talk about we talk about Robin Ledge. Ness at Ledge is another beast. For real, like he has so many ways to just cover everything. Like, and the fact that you always feel forced to do get up attack can be a scary thing because that option is very laggy and footish. Yeah, they can shield and just kind of throw it in there, and you die at 140 or something, stuff like that. Yeah. It's really good at right mixing up his options really well. Okay. Ooh. The aggressive back air. That good, that's not really good. It was a good idea because it would have killed. It was like safe. Mm -hmm. But just narrowly missing and getting it back thrown for his troubles. I did. Oh, Peak Time just got hit by that. Oh my gosh. That was a little bit scary for Batra. Down, there's down Bill. McBendick crying right now. Oh. He actually could have tech chased there with the up smash, but oh, not going to get the kill quite yet. Okay, so Magic Kuda's off stage game, he's he has the right idea of going off stage versus Ness and trying to intercept the PK Thunder. 
I don't know about down air, down air stuff like that. Maybe hydrant works. Yeah, I've I've definitely seen Ness like when he has to up B from far, the hydrant can just you know cause the inertia from the up B to go into effect, so he, he just doesn't go as far anymore. Yeah, Magikudu with that long lasting F smash, get the weak hit of F smash, still killing. Yeah, F smash surprisingly a long lasting yeah. hitbox and surprisingly strong for Pac Man. A lot of Pac Man stuff kind of stays out longer than it probably should. Yeah, like that grab, but that's just his for Smash Four, I guess. Yeah. Cover spot dodge now. Yeah. Ooh, okay, air dodging out of the uh, down tilts. That would have yeah. been big damage, but... He might be dead. Oh, wow. Well. We got picture-perfect DI out here. Uh, he has to deal with PK Thunder. Austin has the best PK Thunders. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, for sure. No amount of DI could have saved him there. That's a kill percent very good, because you have to play anti-grab, but all of his aerials still kill him, like, decent percent. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I think... I think Patrick Hood has a little bit of a uh, nest experience with, like, Dompe and oh my god! That's something you've been doing way more. I think he saw it on stream once. He's been PK flashing the two frame a lot because like stuff like down smash is very inconsistent. It would sometimes not work. Yeah, and that hitbox expands the longer you charge yeah. it. Yeah, so and forty percent at ledge is pretty good. Oh my! God. No. Oh, he left. <laughs> he, he took like seventy damage from that though. <laughs> yeah, he he was gonna die to the hydrogen, but the down air hit him after, so he lived. <laughs> he got PK thunder for it, so it wasn't worth it. That was awesome smiling about that. He's like, I don't know what happened, but yeah, that was cool. Yeah, don't smile. No fun allowed. 